episode two. My name is Kate, and this is my channel, Chapter K, and I am here with... I'm June Wilcox, the owner of M. Judson Books in Greenville, South Carolina. Yes. So I reached out to June because I really love this bookstore. It's really unique, and I like to, I like to come here a lot after work. So I was like, I want to learn more about the store and do a little book tour video. So I'm just going to ask you some questions. And okay, great, and thank you, thank you, thank yes. you. So tell me about yourself. Wow. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a tough <laughs> one. Um, I'm originally from Greenville. I left for a long time and then moved back here to a really cool town. I think Greenville's got an awful lot of just really exciting things happening Absolutely. and has for the past 20 years. So I've been Absolutely. back for about 20 years. Um, I uh, did my like education in business and political science and I have a IT consulting company that I've had for a little over 20 years. So this is kind of a whole different world for me to be Absolutely. in. So I've been a part of this since we started, which was four years ago next week. So four years, so is the store itself four years old? It will be on July the 27th. Okay. And what did this building use? It was the old courthouse building. Oh, okay. So that's why it looks like a courthouse. <laughs> that makes funny sense. Funny that. Yeah, yeah. funny. The it's way weird that how that works. works. Yeah. So um, where did the name for the store come from? From Mary Camilla Judson, okay. who was like just a really cool lady at the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. So she was from the Northeast, but had family who had moved to this area. Committed educator, very committed to women's education. So she taught pretty much everything there was to teach, including things like calisthenics, which was super controversial at the time. Oh. Yeah. And so she became the first lady principal of Greenville Women's College, which eventually became Furman. That is amazing. Yeah. Yes. Like we really want to embody the spirit of Mary Camilla Absolutely. Judson, so that's where that came from. What sort of events do you host here? Uh, just about everything. We have a really vibrant event life, which is kind of, we try to do something for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Lunch and Lit program where we bring in authors and we partner with Table 301, go to different restaurants mm -hmm. and have an author come and talk. Um, events like tonight, we have um, David Joy and Ace Atkins are here in conversations. So we just get to learn about authors. Um, sometimes we do dinners, which is mm -hmm. one of my favorite things in the store, where we clear the whole place and yeah. make these great big tables and we design a menu around a book. Um, and really have the cool. author speak about it. It's really great. It's one of my favorite nights here. It's a completely different feel to the store. And then we are also starting a lot of, we have really great book clubs. Mm -hmm. And so we've been expanding the number of book clubs. We have a great um, fantasy one that's starting up in the fall. That. Yeah, it's really cool. I saw that. I got really excited. I was like, and I read like two of them already. And yeah. I'm like, and the books take on a whole different yes. like meaning. And when you talk to them, mm -hmm. you know, talk to other people about them. So Absolutely. the book clubs are awesome. And we're starting a lot of programs for kids. I love that. Yeah. I, lo I saw that you had a, a good bit of like diversity in your book clubs too. So that's, I think that's cool that you're kind of doing that. Yeah, and we're getting more that's and amazing. more. They're becoming just so fun that we can yeah. do things like, you know, history. Where we're doing one for historical mm -hmm. fiction and then one for fantasy. We started crime. We're starting Well Read Black Girl, which is a national program yeah. that we're starting here too. So, yeah, we're that is so we awesome. love it. That's so great. Why do you think that M. Judson works so well in Greenville? Because it's such a strong community. Mm -hmm. It's just, do you live in Greenville? I do. Close. I live like 20 minutes away. Okay. Yeah, but I'm actually in Greenville, so. It's, yeah. yeah. It's a really supportive community. Yeah. I think of all local business. Absolutely. And agree. so people show up, and that's why it's worked here. Is it? And I think there was a need, you know, in, in this Main Street area um, for a, you know, a place like this mm -hmm. that has a lot of community engagement and. And it's, I mean, there's great people, there's great customers. It's just, a, and it's a neat town to be a part of. Absolutely. There's always something happening right now. Yeah, I remember when there wasn't a bookstore in, like, at least in the downtown area. Yeah. So it's so nice to actually have a bookstore to go yeah. to now. And there's Joe's also, which is a fantastic yes. bookstore over in the Pettigrew area. Yeah. yeah, it's a Check really it cool, with a different vibe. It's a really cool place. And then there's also Fiction Addiction, but that's yeah. um, kind of in a different part of town. Yeah, I was actually over there earlier today. Well, not at the store, but I was like right in that Yeah, right near the mall. Shopping center. So. Yeah, so Jill has a really great selection. Yeah. And so it's just kind of, that's you know, amazing. it's neat that this community can support. Yeah, so do y'all, do you have, do you all communicate with each other? Like sure. Like any bookstores um, in the area? We do, especially um, Fiction Addiction. We work together um, with the Read Up Festival, oh, yeah, which is a yeah. really neat young adult festival. Um, that was it's its own organization mm -hmm. founded by Lee Yarborough, but we collaborate as booksellers. That's um, amazing. I and, went to that, that last year, and it was so much fun. I didn't know something like that existed around here, so I was like, this is the coolest. It's really neat. Yes, so there were so um, many authors like. There's already like 25 that. in the lineup this year. Really? Like Nicola Yoon is one of the headliners. Wow, that's and, really yeah, there's um, it's really quite cool. a lineup. That's so awesome. It is. <laughs> and it's right there. Yeah, it's like, so it's literally the Peace Center is like, oh, there. so I do have a vlog from when I went there, so I'm, Oh, cool. I'll put that somewhere in this video, so you okay. 
can, yeah. Yeah, um, October 19th is when that's happening. Oh yeah, it's in October. Okay. Mm -hmm. What makes M. Judson so unique? What are some things that make it unique? What do you think makes it unique? So many things. <laughs> <laughs> I love I'm kind of biased. I loved all of it. So I want to hear from you though, and I'll say mine. I would say um, <laughs> the reviews for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I think yeah, that I the recommendations we try to do as much because I mean, there are so mm -hmm. many great books and there Absolutely. are hundreds of thousands of books, literally. Mm -hmm hundreds of thousands of books published every year. Yeah. <laughs> trying to find, you know, ones, trying to match people with a book that they're gonna love is what we think Absolutely. we do well. Um, and so we have this incredible staff, which I am constantly inspired and delighted by who wants to work mm -hmm. in a bookstore, you know, because the talent here is incredible. Um, and so we have these amazing people that are helping customers find what yeah. they're looking for. And then I think our events, mm -hmm. we have a, that really robust event program. We have a great buyer. I mean, Ashley Warlick is who picks out pretty much mm -hmm. everything for the store, yeah. and she just does such a good job deciding what to buy. And cool. then, like, Debbie Horton runs our events program mm -hmm. with Fiona Redmond, and they just do such a great job of making events unique. So that's, that's what I think. I absolutely but agree. I don't know if that's <laughs> translated. No, that's, I, that's what <laughs> I Is that what other that people was, see? That's what I see. Like, okay. I love my, my favorite thing when I walked in was seeing the, like, little review cards. Yeah. And I didn't, so those are all employee. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing. Yeah. So, because I, when I walked through, I'm like, this just gives like this kind of a old timey feel almost. Having oh, interesting. Little cards everywhere. Yeah. Like, it just reminds me of like when you see someone's like personal like library in the, some big house and like a movie almost. Uh -huh. That's that's yeah. kind of vibe. Oh, interesting. That's, that's kind of cool. Felt. It's yeah. weird. But I love it. I love that. And because you know, being um, like a book reviewer and a book you know person that recommends books and things online, I yeah. love seeing other people's perspectives on books because they're always completely different than my own. And I, it's really, it's cool to like see how things even are. on the same book. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And I've done like, um, like live shows with people about certain books, and we never have the same opinions, like ever. Even if we both like it, we like it for different reasons. Right. And, like it took something else away from it. Absolutely. This and is why I love book club. It's, it's really cool. It's really yeah. cool. And I love, I also love, okay, how your books are organized, mm. because for some reason, there's like, there's some books in like. That section towards the, towards the front. What okay, is, I don't remember what section it is. Fiction. Yeah, just the, the general, general, general fiction, fiction is up section. there. Yeah, I like that it's all like just put together in a general fiction section. Okay, and I like it's you don't want it too broken out. No, I like because like at yeah. my own home library, I break it out a lot. Oh, do you? But then I when I go to a, like you know like a big like chain bookstore. Yeah. When it's all broken out, I get stuck in that one genre. Right. And so it's nice to see all fiction put together. And also, I've seen some books that I've seen classified as YA elsewhere. Put in fiction here, mm -hmm. and I liked, I liked that. There's so much crossover there in YA is. genre. There absolutely, yeah. and there's like new some adults. Some of my favorite books. I mean, Lovely War is a great book. Yes. That comes, but Heart and a Body of the World. There's absolutely. been some really great yet YA that I consider, you know, perfect absolutely. for adults. I look, when I read, I, um, I read Wilder Girls. Oh, did the you? The other day, I finished it Are last you night. On Friday, around absolutely. Thursday? Oh. This is very like gruesome. Like this could be for anybody that above a certain age. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I would say Not for anybody, younger, but anybody, but older. like anybody yeah. above a certain age, I would like. Yeah, that that's something that I think a lot of people could, of a lot of different ages, could enjoy if they were into, you know, that kind of body horror and stuff like that. And yeah, I loved it. I also saw that you had like a southern fiction and southern nonfiction section. I thought that was kind of cool because you don't really see a lot. <laughs> I feel like I don't see a lot like where it's grouped together like that. It, and it's not ordinarily, yeah. but I think that was one of the things when we started the store, that we really wanted to focus Absolutely. on because there is so much good Southern mm -hmm. literature, you know, Absolutely. and so the, the fiction and the nonfiction and breaking those out and highlighting, you know, authors like David Joy and yeah. Ace Atkins who are great Southern Absolutely. authors. And I, I feel like I, ha I hadn't read a, a fantasy set in the South until like I read, um, was it the Seraphina series by Robert Beatty? It's like a yeah. number grade series. Mm -hmm. That Those are great. So cool. Set because, up in Asheville. Yes, yeah, I was no like, more. they put magic to here. There's never magic here. Yeah, it's always in like Europe or a faraway place. That's right. <laughs> the South is magical too. Yes, we have. We actually have such a tradition of that, yes. though, right? And we have like of lore and ghosts. So and many like forest things. Oh gosh, Converse was so haunted. So was it? all the all the ghost stories. We've got all the ghost stories. We had ghost tours and. I did not know that. It's it's. <laughs> there's a lot of creepy stuff happening there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what about the um, blind date with the book? I love that. I love that too. It's like, so fun. I've it's, seen it before, but like, yeah. I, it was so cool to see it here. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I do it, it is not original. I th my understanding is that it originated with a bookstore out in Australia, and mm -hmm. I think everybody else has copied it. Um, but the, there's that classic, we do judge a book by a cover, mm -hmm. right? I do. <laughs> so, I definitely buy for covers. But then you take it out and you put like, here's why this is such a good mm -hmm. book, and you put those little teasers out there. and. 
I love people who that's the only way they shop for books now is they you know they trust us on the what we're gonna put up there and they just come shop the blind dates. Yeah, I've gotten like two. This is I, I just bought a third one today. Oh, thanks. but I I bought, I bought two before and there were two books that I had never I think I heard, never heard of the first one. Yeah, the second one I think I heard the name, uh -huh. but I. I never like really heard anything about it. Right. So I was like, oh, but this is something this that is so great. I would like. Yeah. So, well, and we try to do that. We yeah. don't want you to like see something on the new release table mm -hmm. and also have it blind dated, right? Yeah. We want to pick the books that people judged and didn't realize how great they were. Absolutely. Right? And so try to find those gems and then get people to buy them without judging them. <laughs> that also helps me like know that I probably don't have it yet. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I For voracious we'll readers, problems. that's important. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I saw one on your Instagram one time and I'm like, I want that book. I don't know what it is though, mm -hmm. but I want it. So now I've got to figure it out. Yeah. Like, Sometimes it's kind of fun it to try and guess, yeah. but I never get it right. So now I've got to get the clues together uh -huh. and try to solve it. Because I've never seen it like here, like on the on the thing, uh -huh. so I gotta, I gotta oh. figure out what book it is. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to shoot an email. I, I can probably hook you up. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> what, what genre do you think is most popular here? It's a weird question. But. Um, no, it's not really. It's just kind of hard to say. Yeah. But I mean, fiction yeah. is perennial it's bestseller, true. right? <laughs> yeah, everybody sense. loves a good story. Um, yeah, Nonfiction has been one of the fastest growing. Um, sections, which you might, you know, not necessarily think about, but there's been a lot of yeah. really great nonfiction this year. And the way that you've like, um, I've seen some of the nonfiction sections like displayed, like mm -hmm. on the tables occasionally. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely like a huge thing too, because uh, there's one that I would have never looked at. And then that's face like, up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, being able to look at them and they look interesting definitely makes a huge difference. Absolutely. Yeah. What's your favorite genre? I, I fiction. Fiction. Yeah. yeah. Fiction. I always want to say because it sounds so much more virtuous to say like nonfiction, but <laughs> I like. I like fiction. biography. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> and then you would ask me which one was my favorite, and I wouldn't have an answer. So you don't, you don't have an answer for, for fiction, for oh, a favorite book? Well, Gilead's my favorite. Gilead? Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to read Gilead. You so, do. Yeah, you absolutely. Do. Uh -huh. So I don't want you to get on that. Yeah, favorite book of fiction that I couldn't name of yeah. biography I've ever read, actually. I've only read, like, actually, I've read a couple. Yeah? You read yeah. a good one? Maybe I'll give it a try, yes, so at least I have an answer. Me, um, uh, I just forgot everything. Carrie Fisher, she has a couple oh, of like, different that. parts of her one. life. Yeah. I just, um, The Princess Diaries is the one I just read. Okay. And that one's good. And there's also, I love graphic memoirs. So it's like yeah. a, like a comic book, but it's a, their biography. Is there anything that you would like to just say as, the, as our video comes to an end? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for, you know, the, yeah, I mean, this is really fun. And you. that you want to be here is really kind of an honor. Absolutely. You know? I you like really to visit here it. a lot, so. I'm going to continue visiting because I love it. Well, so, good. Yeah. But thank you so much for doing this with me because... Oh, my gosh. I love this. That's so. absolutely my absolute <laughs> pleasure. Awesome. <Yeah>. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So...